Hi everyone, this is Paris De Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop. I have been a professional fortune teller now since 1990. I do astrology, tarot, palmistry and Lenormand cards as well as numerology and other types of fortune telling and divination and I love my job. It's a very interesting job. I get to meet all sorts of interesting people every day and we get to talk about lots of questions and things that really matter to them. So over the years, I've come across some people who believe that, you know, the work I do, fortune telling and divination is the devil's work. So I thought I would ask my wise and talented Lenormand and Cartomancy Facebook group their opinions. And I asked them, is reading cards a part of the devil's work? True or false? Why and why not? And these are some of the responses that I got. Hargrave writes, only in one way. It's the very devil when you can't work it out. Other than that, the lexigram for veil is for evil is veil. The sort of veil that springs from ignorance. And there is an epidemic of that going around. Yes, interesting. So it's uh, the very devil when you can't work it out. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a challenge trying to work out uh, a reading um, using cards. So I get that point. And I like the uh, evil and veil lexigram idea. Interesting. Isabella says... This question is very enigmatic. I don't know, but I hope no. Sasha says, cards are for observation. You're looking at something. Looking isn't good, evil, but what you are looking at can be pretty or ugly, I suppose. You can't blame the binoculars for what they spot. Absolutely. It's just like, uh, you know, using the analogy of a magnifying glass. If you're using a magnifying glass, it's not the magnifying glass that is evil or bad. It is just helping you to see something that you otherwise cannot see with your normal eyesight, say. Eve says, part devils, part gods, who are both the two sides of the same coin. Depends on who is looking or better saying judging. So yeah, I I think, uh, you know, Catholicism and I suppose Islam and Judaism, they're all, you know, binary. So they've got the good and the evil, the light and the dark. So without one, you can't have the other really. So I get that point as well. Bernadette says, what's the devil anyway? So yeah, that would depend on your religious background because some religions don't, um, you know, have the devil as part of their religion. Okay, so Rohini, Rohini says, I mean, this is assuming that everyone comes from a culture that believes in the devil. Well, that's, that's my point. That's what the points were saying um, just before. Some cultures don't have the devil in them, so it would be invalid. I remember years ago um, when I was in Europe, I was in a very Catholic country. I won't say the country's name. And I was asked to be on TV uh, as a guest to speak about uh, fortune telling and about astrology and things like that. And one of the criticisms that I got was that it's a, a, against the devil, against the devil, right? Or it's part of the devil's work, I mean, against God. And I remember saying it was a Catholic uh, dominated country. And I remember saying that point. I remember saying um, in some cultures, such as Hindu, they don't have the devil or Buddhism um, the same way as they do in Christianity. I said, so would that mean all of those people are evil? So that that's an interesting point. Caitlin says, rubbish, frankly, it's just it just offends Christians of a narrow order. Yeah, so that's all very um, on the same sort of uh, point there. Michael says, prove the devil exists outside of the idea man has created. 
Yes, I've thought of that one as well. You know, when I was growing up, I used to think of, I was always taught that there was a devil, but then I always thought, well, what is evil? Um, humans can be, can do things that are good or evil, uh, good or bad. And I just thought about a shark or a, or a bird of prey or a, an animal that's a carnivore that kills other animals. See, a shark isn't evil, it just wants to eat. So some people might think it's evil because it kills a dolphin or it um, you know, kills a fish or something, but it's not evil, it just is living. So the concept of e evil and the devil is really a human being concept. I don't think it really exists in nature. You know, there's no evil animals walking around. Barbara says, I think the answer to that depends on what you believe spiritually to be true. Yes, very much so. And uh, I live in Australia and I've also lived in Europe. And in both of those places, we tend to be Christian. Uh, we tend to have a Christian background. So most people in the cultures that I've lived in believe that there is the devil or at least the concept of the devil. Okay. Jacqueline says, it isn't. Why not? There is no devil. Okay, good. Okay, Galena says, having a mole on the face, being a woman, having a black cat, knowing herbs, it was all also punishable during fundamentalist medieval times of Christianity. I hope you see what I'm trying to say here. Absolutely. You know, um, I think, uh, you know, the dominant culture, perhaps the Christianity, say, um, wanted to keep you know, these wise women and men, people that knew herbs and people that had, um, you know, healing abilities, say, or wise abilities were, you know, usually condemned because they had power. They had uh, power and influence in the village that they lived. So there's a lot of fear of that. I think in a lot of cultures, I mean, I know in Southern Europe, where I also live, uh, lived in the past, there's a lot of superstitious beliefs about you know curses and evil and uh, things like that which it's quite steep they're steeped in it culturally culturally there whereas in Australia where I live most of the time it's not so much um, I was actually quite amazed when I moved to Europe southern Europe about how many people just connected fortune telling with uh, cursing and uh, devil devil work and it was much deeper in the south of Europe than it is in Australia, Sydney, where I live now. So we have a, a comment now from Hiraj. So sorry, I'm, I am mispronouncing your name. It depends upon religion to religion. In Christianity and Islam, looking into the future is forbidden. So it is the work of the devil. So they consider it as far as, far as Hinduism is concerned. Hindus believe in astrology, so for them, not so. So not for them. However, if looking into the future is the work of the devil, then weather forecast and statistics and predicting stock markets is also looking into the future and the work of the devil. So it means all satellites are the devices of the devil. Yes, interesting. So it depends on what level of prediction you would, some cultures would consider um, the work of the devil. So yeah, that's right. So, uh, you know, when people are trying to forecast when it's gonna rain, is that also the work of the devil? It's like humans trying to predict things that are, that are unknown. Okay, and then Sasha responded, I never even thought to say that before. Very good, so clap, clap, clap. Yeah, very good point. Nicole says, I try very hard not to be resentful of that mindset in people. I'm like, do I look, seem like the kind of person that is controlled by Satan, please? Well, I tell you what, to be sort of funny is sometimes when people have come to my shop, which is red, um, painted red with red curtains um sometimes i might say to them do i look like the devil and they'll say yes you do 
<laughs> so that might not work in my case. Okay, Karen says, it certainly can be devish, devilishly fun. Yes. Patricia says, the devil seems very busy. He's into all sorts of things. Yes. So if the devil's using his time playing cards, then, you know, he should be doing evil things, spending time doing evil things. Fiona says, false. The devil is a Christian concept. Take away Christianity and the devil does not exist. You know, all of these concepts about the devil being in control of the tarot cards or Lenormand cards or divination reminds me of when I was a little boy. My auntie, Laura, was left-handed naturally. But back then, they were told that if you're left-handed, that means you're somehow evil or part of the devil or a devil's child. I can't remember the correct term. But to be a left-handed person was considered bad. So she had to learn how to write with her right hand, even though she was naturally left-handed. And I even remember she found it very difficult, even as an adult, to uh, use scissors. Because she was naturally left-handed, but had to learn how to write with her right hand, she couldn't actually cut paper with scissors very well. She would cut it very um, crookedly and and uh, the reason I found out that she was actually left-handed because, like naturally, was because one time she tried to cut some paper and I, I, I thought she was being silly because she was cutting it like a, like a five-year-old would. And I remember asking her why is she cutting the paper crookedly and she said that because she was actually left-handed but she was not allowed to use her left hand as a child, which is really sad. Thankfully, we don't believe in those kind of things anymore. And hopefully in the future, believing that reading cards is part of the devil's work will vanish into the mists of time and history. Okay, well, thank you to everyone who contributed to this post and this video. That was fun. This is Paris de Bono of The Fortune Teller Shop.